three teams in salutations. This is Gab this is uh Evelyn O'Malley, Lady of the Realm. Sorry, I almost said my real name there. I can hear it. Uh uh. Anyways. Has I decided I would take a cue from Undertaker Freak and do something involving vocabulary. Now, do I feel like people in society have gotten dumber? Maybe just a slight bit. And, but, I decided instead of continue to uh, rant and rave, I'm going to do something that's going to be kind of cool and more educational. But, as you know, yes, I support education. No, I don't like school. But like I said, in that particular video, even though I didn't like school, I did my best. I studied well. And one of the few things I did, one of the few things that might be suggestive to people when it comes to school is, Try to set up a study, instead of, set up some good study habits. You know, maybe, I hate to mess up your summers, because you should enjoy your summer off, but they're right, you do tend to forget things over time, and it's just best to keep your mind going. I mean, I know, we're 16, you're 16, you're 13, you're 6 years old. What do I have to worry about when it comes to school? I mean, the point is to forget those problems during the summer. And, you know something? You're right. You're absolutely right. You're supposed to forget school. You're supposed to get, forget about your summer. You're supposed to forget okay, all the problems at school. However, they don't suggest you forget everything you learned. That's why uh, a lot of us spend a lot of time, why you spend a whole lot more time, and review during the summer. So, here's something I decided to do to help with that issue, which is vocab. Here, right in front of me, I have a list of words that might be used in day-to-day -day talk, you know, you just put it together, okay, and I basically May list of these words on uh, studyblue.com uh, and where they allow you to have, make flashcards and all these vocabulary so you can learn to study on the go wherever you are no matter what you're doing. You can download the app and put it on your phone. So there you go. Perfect way to study. Okay. I know. Try to find ways destroy that whole freedom concept, don't they? Yeah. But anyways, one of the first few words I wish to impart upon you is a word that you should become, you are common with in your day-to-day -day view, television viewing okay. lifetime, or just life in general. And that word is tokenism. The definition of this word is a policy or practice of limited inclusion or artistic and or political representation of members of a traditionally marginalized group, usually creating a false appearance of inclusion, inclusive practices rather than discrimination, intentional, intentional or not. So, whenever you're watching a show like, okay, let's say you're watching Dexter, and I don't think Dexter's really this kind of show, but we'll just use this as an example. And they have the token black guy. You know, the, this character, basically, he is basically the result of what tokenism is. Yes. You could say a show uses tokenism, meaning it uses a black guy who has no, absolutely nothing to the plot other than 
he or she is just there. Or token girl. She or he just happens to be there. And but has no bearing on the plot whatsoever. Okay? That's what the what happens when you use that kind of tokenism. It just makes it look more diverse. Yes, but it really doesn't do anything for it. Next word. And this word is a word I like to describe myself with. Or I've had other people use to describe me. Just a different word. And it's called randoplink. It means flamboyant. And if you don't know what flamboyant means, it basically is someone with a colorful attitude or behavior. I'll look it up for you. It's not that hard to spell. I have forgotten multiple times what the word means, so... Okay. Yeah. Strikingly bold or brilliant, showy, flamboyant colors. Okay. Anyway. And then next, basically you can say that person is very randoplant, or when it comes to his vocabulary, that person is very randoplant. I'm not sure that's quite how you use it, but yeah, just examples. Okay. Now this one is the word dilatory, meaning tending, it's used as an adjective, tending to, uh, tending to delay, procrastinate, postpone, and basically we'll say, okay, Frank was very dilatory, okay to his mother when they went shopping. Well, he knocked over all the stuff in the way. Or when your mother and father are basically saying, hey, stop being dilatory. Basically, when you're when you're charging through the mall or through Walmart, through the aisles at Walmart, and dreading the day of going back to school. Huh. Okay. Those are the best examples I come with. I should have wrote them down, but hey. Okay. Now, next thing will be manifold, which is having many ways and various forms or parts. So, the girl has a manifold of different behaviors, or manifold definition to her character. I don't think this is the best way of using that word, but hey, it's manifold, basically. Okay. She has many different ways of describing herself, or being described. Um, oh, that's a better way to say it. A manifold of different descriptions uh, pertaining to her character. Okay. Since I failed at that, I'm feeling modular. Modular. Meaning, overly self-pitying or sentimental. Some people feel very modeling. And when I say modeling, I'm not talking about thoroughly modern Millie. Okay? Not that modern. Okay? Not that modern. Anyways. And then... I'll use one more to grow on. <laughs> and this is egregious. Flagrant. Extremely bad. And it comes with its own example. But I'll come up with another. 
<sighs> Breaking. When I broke the law, I was egregious. I was being egregious. Alright, he is being egregious. Regard to the law. Basically being, I'm being very bad in the letter to the law. I'm acting out, I'm misbehaving, to the point where I'm probably looking at jail time this year, or the rest of my life, at this point. <sighs> okay, that wasn't the best example. I promise these videos will get better, sorry. This was, it was a failure. It's the first time I've ever done a vocab. But I will try to do at least one or two of these a week. Hey. Hey, depending on what words I have. <sighs> Anyways, this is Emily Nomadic telling you to follow her on her Tumblr, Twitter, and check out her fan fiction. And a new bit of stuff should have came out pretty soon, and I'm looking for people to critique to see if anyone likes those or not. Anyways, have a great night and thank you for watching. Please click the subscribe button down down below and have a great